Hi, I'm Dave, and I know wrestling. Do you want a wrestler who is such a figure of asshole that he got kicked out of the Marines for bad conduct? Do you want a wrestler who then found it so hard to get a career started with that kind of blemish on his permanent record that he had to use his father's and grandfather's legacy in order to help himself find a job in one of the very few industries that still accepts people who have done time without any judgment? Well, then allow me to introduce to you my client for today's Dave Knows Wrestling's Honest Promos, the AWOL Predator, the legendary purse killer, the temper, I mean, the viper, Randall Keith Orton. Hey, his initials are RKO. We should use that. Behold, the son of the guy who stood outside the ring during the main event of WrestleMania 1. He's also the grandson of the guy that modern fans don't remember, but some will occasionally pretend like they do. Nepotism aside, Randy has been crapping the proverbial bag almost immediately after his career got started. Within weeks of his Raw debut, he injured his shoulder, and while we've regularly either fired or de-pushed wrestlers for having this kind of ill-timed injury, we rewarded him by letting him play with the boss's son-in-law and the boss's son-in-law's favorite wrestler of all time and Mark Jindrak. Oh wait, I, I mean non-green tracks the Destroyer. This metaphorically earmarked him for wearing one of our favorite leather straps with metal plates on it. And as soon as we got pissed off at Brock Lesnar, and realized he was only 24, we knew that his time had come. And then of course the guy who was wearing it before him uh, pulled a double murder-suicide, and uh, then Brock came back, so we just kind of stopped talking about this whole thing. In total, we gave him one of our two favorite leather strats with metal plates on it 13 times, and we let him win our 30 participant, randomly timed, top rope tossing contest twice and we've let him literally spit in the faces of legends. But it's not just his last name that got him this far. After all, Mr. Kennedy had a famous last name and it didn't do him any good. Randy said Kennedy was too dangerous and could have hurt his bum shoulder and therefore had to be fired. However, almost giving Randy's shoulder a serious injury just proves that Mr. Kennedy is less dangerous than taking out the trash. Also, despite being unnatural, he seemingly phones it in over half the time. Half-assing, it's vintage Orton. But when he actually does feel like giving crap on his very best day, he is totally capable of being a watered-down version of Okada. Which is still pretty damn good. Just think of him as WWE's LeBron James. But with a way worse ratio of trying versus autopilot and a much, much lower ceiling. In the end, by all accounts, we should be marketing him as a pretty boy babyface, but he has so many real-life outbursts and has destroyed so much personal property that we just have to repackage him as crazy. Because we much rather a wrestler be viewed as a complete psycho rather than a real-life dick. So, if this sounds good to you, then please, give a big ovation to the apex asshole, Randy Orton. Oh, and we've made some changes to our wellness policy. Uh, don't connect the dots here, just, just ignore it, okay? These changes came from... out of nowhere.